Hi guys, welcome to Daily Functional Medicine Tips. It's Wellness Wednesday. I'm Paige Lynch, Functional Medicine Nurse Practitioner, and today we're gonna to talk about reading nutrition labels. So this is a topic that's quite controversial and it's very difficult for most people. I struggle with it myself. I'm constantly learning new things. But what I want everyone, like the main take home is that this is just like, you know, whenever you're doing things to help save the planet or work on, you know, lessening your carbon footprint, not one single person can do everything, but we can all do something. So that's what I want you to take away from this video on learning how to read nutrition labels. I don't want you to walk, you know, leave this video and think that you just know everything about it because I don't know everything about it. I don't know every single ingredient. I don't know, you know, which things are healthy, which things aren't healthy, which things the manufacturers are sneaking in and which things they're not because it's constantly changing and the laws regulating these manufacturers are constantly changing and the manufacturers are finding new creative ways to change what they're calling ingredients so we don't actually know what's in our food. But I'm gonna give you a few tips today to make things maybe a little bit easier. So the first thing that we're gonna focus on is the actual breakdown on the nutrition label for, you know, what people are most used to looking at are things like calories, fat, whether or not it has saturated fat in it, carbohydrates, sugar, and sodium. So working with me, I think you guys, I mean, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, I am not into calories. I never ask my patients to count calories. I don't count calories. For me, I know with 100% certainty that it's not calories in, calories out, and that learning, knowing how many calories a day you're burning is virtually impossible and completely irrelevant. It's the ingredients and what it exactly is that you're putting in your body that's important. You are what you eat, 100%. You're eating McDonald's three meals a day, your body is gonna look like you eat three meals of McDonald's a day. If you're eating lots of fruits and vegetables and taking in a lot, a lot of nutrients, then your body's gonna look like that you eat that way. So that's what you need to focus on, is the ingredients. But just for sake of understanding, I'm gonna explain a little bit of the actual breakdown of calories and fat and all that. So when you're looking at that part, the main thing that I want you to focus on, what is really, really important and what our most current research is pointing to is grams of sugar. So tons of manufacturers, they add sugar into things and especially if they're trying to make it low fat or non-fat, they'll take out the fat in products and they replace it with sugar. Because when you remove fat out of things, it doesn't taste good. And so in order to make it taste good, they add sugar. So sugar is in like everything. If you tell me you're gonna go sugar free, it's gonna be nearly impossible to have anything that's processed or packaged because like I said, sugar is addictive. Manufacturers know that, they add it to everything. So just start to take note of how many grams of sugar are in the foods that you're eating. Okay, so what we're gonna compare today are the two non-dairy milks that um, we have here in our house. And I'm gonna use those just for an example. Okay, so the first one is oat milk. So we drink full fat oat milk. You can see it says full fat right there. Um, this is the one that we use mostly for our coffee because it's the full fat oat. Um, so it is a little bit creamier, thicker. I have found that it's the most close to like half and half or regular coffee cream in that you use. And it doesn't have like an overpowering flavor. Okay, so we're gonna start with the actual nutrition facts here. Something that people don't look at always is the serving size. So you can see maybe, can't really tell on the camera, but, the serving size is right here. That's confusing for a lot of people, so make sure you look at serving size. Come down, um, it's kind of difficult to see, so I'm just gonna go over it. So the other thing that I look on here is exactly what I said, the sugars. So total sugars is seven grams. So that's not terrible. Um, it's. I usually make sure that whatever I'm buying has less than 10 total per serving. 
but after looking at seven grams of sugar, whenever I go through the ingredient list, I wanna make sure that it doesn't have like some crazy added sugar to it. So I'm gonna go through the ingredients. So the first one is oat milk, which is made up of water and oats. Next is low uric acid rapeseed oil. So I'm not very familiar with that. I, you know, just to be honest, the main thing that I am glad that it's not is canola oil or corn oil. Next, it says that it contains 2% or less of dipotassium potassium phosphate, calcium carbonate, tricalcium phosphate, and sea salt, dicalcium phosphate, and DHA algae oil. So those are different types of preservatives and additives that they put in to just give it extra minerals. The DHA algae oil, to fun fact about that, is that it's actually an omega-3 that's added to this. So they advertise on here that it has DHA omega-3 in it. So let's see, there it is. Okay, so see how it has DHA omega-3? The source that they're getting it from, which is important to know, to know whether your body's actually gonna be able to use the things that they say that they this oat milk is giving you, like different vitamins, minerals, DHA, is knowing where it's coming from. So the source for the DHA, or for the omega in this, is coming from the algae oil. Uh, next, it has riboflavin, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin B12. So that's just the different vitamins that they're adding to the oat milk so you get similar vitamins and minerals that people find appealing from cow milk. But, okay. So the other uh, non-dairy milk that we have in our house is macadamia milk. So this is the brand that we use, Milkadamia. And of course, I buy the unsweetened kind and see the label. Uh, so I use um, macadamia milk primarily in my smoothies that I have in the morning. So I drink Shakeology. I talk about that quite a bit. It's definitely the most amazing vegan pea protein um, smoothie powder out there. Um, it has the cleanest ingredients. You get lots of servings of fruits and vegetables lots of pre and probiotics it has lots of antioxidants in it great amount of fiber so that's why i love it but my liquid source i use a combination of coconut water and macadamia milk this one has very mild flavor it's not very thick and so you can't use it as like a coffee creamer but it the flavor is really great they also have an unsweetened vanilla which i will occasionally buy so looking at the breakdown, it says that eight ounces is a serving, that's half a cup, and I don't really care about calories. I don't care too much about fat because I intentionally want it to have fat because it's coming from macadamia. So fat from nuts, very healthy. Coming down, I don't care about cholesterol. I don't care about sodium. I don't care about carbohydrates because the carbohydrates that are going to be in this milk are not from added sugars, which those are the carbohydrates that you need to worry about. It's not coming from like white wheat or white rice or any of that stuff. So I know that the carbohydrates that are in this are not something that's going to quickly spike my insulin, which is the problem that people create in their mind with carbohydrates. So sorry for the tangent. Next is total sugars zero grams. Wow, that's amazing. I challenge you to go to the grocery store and, or if you have non-dairy milk in your house, find something else besides the this type of macadamia milk that has zero grams of sugar. You're gonna be hard pressed. So let's look at the ingredients list. So it says the first ingredient is mac macadamia milk and that's filtered water and macadamias. Next is calcium phosphate pea protein, sunflower lechin, natural flavors, locust bean gum, sea salt, gel and gum, vitamin A, vitamin D2, and vitamin B12. So the main thing with this is I was able to pronounce all the words. That's another thing that you really have to look at whenever you're looking at ingredients lists. If it the word has so many letters in it that there's no way that you could possibly pronounce the name of it. It's probably something that's not a food. It's like a synthetic chemical that manufacturers are making and putting in. It's just, it's just not food. Don't eat it. Okay. Don't put it in your body. It's not healthy for you. 
So this ingredient list also looks really great to me. It only has the small amount of vitamins, minerals that are really healthy for you. Um, here's my special visitor. This is my son, Bryce. He likes to help me with my videos. So that was kind of a crash course in reading nutrition labels. The main takeaway points. Stop counting calories, stop being grams of fat, quit worrying about carbohydrates, look at how much sugar you're taking in. If you lower the amount of sugar that you're taking in on a daily basis and you eat real food, that means only things that you can pronounce, only ingredients that you can pronounce and you actually know what they are, then I guarantee you that you don't need to worry about calories, fat, carbohydrates, or anything like that. Um, so, other than that, start focusing more on your ingredients list, less on the nutrition label with all the numbers and the breakdown. I want you to start looking at the ingredients of what's actually in your food. So we're gonna do this a little bit more. I've shared earlier this week a comparison of two different food labels and I that was so much fun for me because it got a lot of discussion going. And I learned some new things and I learned that there's a couple grams of sodium in all fruit, which I never knew. I was so glad that someone commented about sodium because it was a learning experience for me. So this is what I really want from these videos. I want, because you guys have th know things that I don't know and I know things that you don't know. So we need to exchange that information and that's why I'm doing this. So please send me a direct message if you have any specific questions. Please comment below on the video and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions or if I didn't explain something really well or you want me to go into more detail about nutrition labels and what it is that you're looking for. Um, tomorrow we're, is Thirsty Thursday and we're going to talk about some type of liquid, I'm not really sure yet. Um, I kind of talked about macadamia milk today, so I'm not, probably won't be talking about that. But if you're liking these videos, please share them. Please share them with anybody, share them on your feed, share them in your stories. Um, I really want to just give back to the community and share the knowledge that I have, and I can only do that if you guys are sharing with your friends and family too. So thanks for tuning in today, Wellness Wednesday, Daily Functional Medicine Tips. I'm Paige. This is Bryce. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you click the thumbs up if you liked this video and also comment below. If you have any questions or you have any requests for other videos, I can't wait to talk with you.